What's up champions? Welcome back to Jet Surfing Nation, your place where we test and review different jet boards and e-foils. You know, I'm a big fan of e-foiling in the waves and today I woke up at 5 in the morning to go for a morning session with you. If you remember in our last video we were testing wave riding with a folding probe which closes when you release the power. But today we have something different. We are gonna try the new True Glide probe from Flightboard. It's a free spinning propeller when you release the trigger, it's going to spin just by the force of the water with low drag. So here is my wave riding setup for today. It's a new 2.2 Flightboard Ultra with improved trigger. It's a long aluminum mast. The main wing today is Flow S 1300. In case you're wondering what's the difference between Flow and Flow S. The Flow wing is a high aspect ratio wing. It gives you more glide but less reactivity, which makes it a little bit harder to control and turn. The wing I'm gonna use today is called Flow S, which has the same surface of 1300, but it's a low aspect ratio wing, so it gives you more control but less glide. And here inside I have the small sports battery for reduced wave and maneuverability. And of course, my security smartwatch for emergency calling and my car keys. Everything fits nicely. Finally, if you're gonna ride in the waves, always take a leash. I'm gonna use my knee leash. It's a coiled leash, very easy to use, love this one. Everything is ready, so without further ado, let's put our stalker drone in the sky and go wave riding, woo! As you can see, true gliding is really unbelievable experience. You release the trigger and you glide, you fly like a bird, no noise, no drag, unbelievable feeling guys. If you ride in e-fall, definitely go to the waves and try true gliding. Now I'm sure some of you are wondering what is the difference of the jet e-foils, true gliding and folding propellers. So let me quickly compare them based on my own limited experience and what I learned by talking to other e-foilers. Remember this is not a scientific comparison, this is just my own personal opinion. First we get the jet e-foils, like for example Audi e-foil. With a jet you have very easy way of power output, so you press the trigger and the jet gives you very smooth power. In my opinion, compared to other propellers, this is the easiest way to learn, but at the same time, the downside is the increased track. And another thing, the jet wants you to go straight. It's harder to turn because the jet wants to ride on the board straight. Then we have the true glide. The true glide is a good all around solution. It's a three blade propeller. It's the same plastic propeller as the main one from Flightboard but at the same time you can release the trigger slowly and you still get very smooth transition from power defaulting to depower defaulting. There is no abrupt power loss. That's why it's quite easy to learn true gliding and at the same time it's very easy to regain the power when you finish riding the wave. Finally, we have a folding propeller. The folding propeller works completely different. You have to drop the trigger altogether like completely release your finger and then the folding propeller will close and provide you with the least drag. Because it's just two blade propeller and it completely closes, I think it has the least drag out of three when you go in the waves. The downside, it's harder to learn because you have abrupt power loss when you release the trigger, you have to push strong on the back leg, so it takes a lot of time to learn it. And at the same time, it's also harder to regain the power when you finish because folding propeller has to open to start operating. That's not easy, but out of three of them, I think it's the least track and the most fun when you ride the waves. So if you're progressing to in the wave riding, you can get folding propeller, almost all e -foils. Lift is offering, folding propeller, way do. For flight board, the guy David from Flying Rodeo is also offering folding propeller. At the same time, if you want to stick with tube light, it's also good all around solution 
you can use it in the legs, you can use it in the waves. It's just good all around propeller with minimal drag. Finally, I decided to go for one more session. It's a sunset session, really amazing experience. This time I changed my setup. I'm using the flow wing. It's a high aspect ratio wing, which gives you more glide, but less reactivity. I also changed the main shim from shim zero to shim one to compensate the angle of attack. If we compare flow and flow S wing, flow S, like I said, gives you much more control. It's easier to carve, but at the same time, you have more drag, less battery life and less gliding on the wave. The flow wing, high aspect ratio wing, gives you more glide, so you go longer depowered on the wave. At the same time, sometimes it gives you too much lift and the board goes quite slow, so you can get out of the water and crash like me here. So there is no perfect wing for all conditions. It's very important to choose the right wing for the right conditions. And finally, after you finish your session, you have to go to the new Flightboard app and check your wave sessions. Let's take a look. You can see here, I got almost 40 waves and I went depowered on all of them. And you can even see the distance of each wave that I went. Really cool stuff. That was an amazing session in the waves. Thank you for joining me today, guys. As always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.